Hey, mommy. Welcome to my life. Wendy Show. <laughs>、Hey、guys, what's up? So today I'm going to be doing an etouffee. I'm going to be doing it with a twist, which is actually going to be、uh, Mexican style. So I'm going to be using some Mexican ingredients to make it. Now, your etouffee is not going to be the same as mine, to each his own. And that's the beauty of our recipes is that、um, we can change them, we can update them to suit our needs.、Um, just like with our family recipes, your grandma's jambalaya, your grandma's、uh, Mexican or Spanish rice is not going to be the same as mine, right? All right, so. First of all, we're going to start our roux. A roux is just like a fancy word for like a gravy. And in order for us to do that, you're just going to go ahead and melt one stick of butter. And then you're just going to go ahead and add some、um, flour. And I added about a fourth of a cup of flour. And、um, you want to make sure the, the butter is completely melted and it、uh, well saturates. Um, the pan, it's all incorporated. And then、um, I actually coated my pan with some nonstick spray, but、um, typically people like to add just a tiny bit of、um, oil. It's actually going to be a, a more of a peanut butter consistency, so not as complex as when you make gumbo. If you've been following me for a while, you guys have seen me do my live cooking for gumbo.、Um, For those of you that are just joining me, I had a cooking show that I did on Facebook. I've had it on YouTube, and I kind of deactivated my Facebook and my YouTube, so now I'm just predominant, predominantly、um, doing it on Instagram. My onions, so I have some onions. I always like to get my、um, stuff prepped. And then、um, I actually use Mexican、um, onions. They're those onions that have like the little bulb on them. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and add bell peppers, and instead of、um, the green ones, I'm just gonna go ahead and add the red, and then I'm gonna go ahead and add my garlic. Okay, just do that. Sorry, some stock. Just a tad. And、um, I'm just mixing it up, and you want it to be this beautiful, like peanut butter color. So that's what we're doing. We're just mixing it up, okay? So now I'm gonna go ahead and add some pepper. And then, sorry if it's zoomed in. I'm trying to do this with so many hands. I'm gonna zoom out, but I'm just doing the basic part, and then I'll zoom out, and you'll see all the yummy, yumminess that goes with this、um, beautiful roux. That we're making for our etouffee、uh, going on so far, and it looks so pretty with the bright colors. Traditionally, when they use the Holy Trinity to make the etouffee and the gumbo, they use、um, uh, green bell pepper, celery, and um, and uh, onion, right? But I use the Mexican onions, like the taquera kind. I used red bell pepper, and then I have my garlic. Okay. So we're just gonna let this simmer, and then I'm gonna start adding my seasonings because、uh, my camera's actually heating, heating up. So I'm gonna hurry up and、um, start adding all these kind of things to it, so you guys can see. Let me hit the focus button. I don't know what's going on. Okay, there we go. All right, I'm gonna go start adding the seasoning, guys, before it gets all crazy and my camera、um, overheats. Completely optional. Like I just had some because I make gumbo.、Um, next, you're gonna add、um, some paprika. Let's see, right here, some paprika. Okay, and I just eyeball shit. Like I don't measure shit. Okay, so like that's like a tablespoon, and then I want to say like yeah, like a tablespoon of paprika, and then I'm gonna add a little bit of some、um, some salt. I got this at、uh, Costco. This is、um, Himalayan pink salt. It's really good for you. It's like a sea salt. I'm gonna add. Just a couple like shakes of that. I added some pepper, but I'm gonna add a little bit more pepper. And to make this like you know Latina, the Latino traditional um I'm sorry, Lat Latin flavors mixed with um like the Cajun flavors, I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of adobo to it. Just give it a little 
love flavor okay and then next just a tiny bit of crushed red pepper typically people add cayenne, cayenne pepper I actually make tamales and um, I have some I got this at a Latin market this is the shit hold on let me zoom in I'm just gonna get a little bit of this this is what you use for like when you make tamales so I'm gonna get just like a teaspoon of that and um this is actually from like a latin market when you make um it's grounded when you make um tamales and it's called it's like chile nuevo new mexico chili because it's gonna be like that yummy um cajun mexican flavor so now you see how beautiful this color is like it's so pretty we're gonna add some more seasoning so the next one we're gonna add is a little bit of garlic uh i'm sorry onion powder because my family freaking hates onion so i got that's why i'm using the mexican onion uh, onion and that i'm gonna add some garlic powder a little bit more then i'm actually gonna add some old bay if you don't have old bay don't trip it's just gonna give it that like seafoody flavor a teensy weensy bit of garlic salt and then i have my parsley I seen this meme on Instagram that says parsley is like a freaking filter for food and I believe that shit. You can have the most disgusting as shit. If you throw some fucking parsley on that shit, like it'll make it look good. Throw some fucking parsley on some top ramen, that shit look good. Alright, so I threw some parsley up in that beach. And then you really do, I highly strongly recommend you do get Creole seasoning because it is going to give your um, gumbo or your etouffee or whatever you're making that authentic flavor. So we're just going to let this roux get sexy and do its thing, kind of like scrape the sides so your um, roux slash flour doesn't burn. And it looks really beautiful. It looks like when you, I don't know if you guys have had chili rellenos, it looks like the sauce that, that like your family will put the chili rellenos and then we're gonna add two bay leaves and these are dried i don't have that fucking fancy bullshit i just use um dried ones so i'm just gonna throw some bay you will remove that because it, it's a very strong flavor my mother always tells me that i overdo it with the bay so i just leave it in for a little bit and take that bitch out all right so that's that so now i gotta add a little bit more pepper excuse me okay and then and then I'm gonna add um, my cilantro so that's gonna make it Latin super Latino flavor right there Latinx I prefer the, the term Latinx but yeah so that's Latin super yummy and you're just gonna add the cilantro typically people add um, uh, fresh uh, parsley to this but psh, I gotta put my own twist to it so I'm adding some fresh cilantro okay I put a little twist on it right so yeah so I just added a little bit of that and then we're just gonna let this thing simmer and thicken up and then when it's nice and thick you got your steamed rice right here oh yeah how to learn the tricks of the traits from a mother-in-law. Super yummy. You're going to add um, that beautiful, 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 beautiful shrimp that I have right here. Look at this. Oh, yeah. It's a shrimp peeled and, and deveined. And I added some um, of this Creole seasoning to it. And then I added some Old Bay. And that's just going to marinate and just be sexy and, and chill and do its thing, you know, while um, while I'm waiting for this thing to thicken up, okay? So if it was gumbo, it would take forever because you have to sit there constantly uh, monitor it. There's nothing wrong with that, but uh, gumbo is more of a gray color. And this uh, is more like a peanut buttery color if you look up um, etouffee recipes. So remember I told you I had some boiled chicken? So, typically you don't add chicken to um, your etouffee sauce, your roux, but I'm going to put my own twist on it. So, I'm just going to go ahead and add 
um, the beautiful chicken. Okay, so we're just gonna let it simmer and then I'll get back with you in about five minutes and then we'll add the shrimp. Hey guys, all right, so now we're at the finish line. We're at, literally at the end of the road. So basically I let my roux uh, thicken up and so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add the rest of my shrimps and it's gonna be so yummy. That should cook up in like five minutes. So you're just gonna incorporate the shrimp into the roux, the etouffee. And you don't wanna overcook your shrimp. You don't want it to be like tough and chewy, you know? Well, these are about to be cooked. When they make a tight C, they're ready, but you don't want them too um, tight, the shrimp, because then they're gonna be rubbery and chewy and don't know better have time for that. Let me see if I can grab you one. Mm. You can add whatever you want to this, guys. The sky's the limit. Um, you can add some some andouille sausage, you know, whatever floats your boat. So now we're just mixing it. Give it a couple minutes, and you're probably like, okay, well, let the how do I serve it? So if you really want to impress your people, um, remember how I told you I made some steamed rice right here on the side. You're gonna get your steamed rice. Let me um, add the secret ingredient, the final ingredient, some hot sauce. A couple of dashes of Tabasco, just like I do for my gumbos and all that. But anyway, just let that chill and be sexy and do its thing. In the meantime, what you're gonna go ahead and do is um, we're gonna also put a couple scallions on top. Oh, I'm sorry, those are the, the <clears throat> from the Mexican lemon. So yeah, so I actually went through some cilantro top of that too just let it simmer so you know how when you get salsa you get like these plastic containers or even if you have a bowl sometimes if I want to be extra fancy I get an ice cream scooper and I spray some non-stick non-stick spray on it so basically you just get your little fancy plate and then um, you're gonna go ahead and uh, you're gonna slide it off oh look at that doesn't that look nice You'll really impress whoever you're cooking for. So we're gonna come over here. It's been a couple minutes and the shrimp, sh the shrimps should be coming along. Wow, isn't that beautiful? And the chicken, you know. So we're gonna go ahead and um, scoop up some yummy cooked shrimp. Mmm, doesn't that look beautiful? pretty easy to make right I love the colors that I that I chose and I love that I made this fusion mixture of um, etouffee but with a Mexican twist by adding the cilantro adding the uh, chiles New Mexico and then adding some um, some Mexican and some Latin flavors to just marry the two and make them like the best of both worlds and super yummy look at that Oy! so pretty right and the cilantro just it's amazing it's so good Hot sauce and just put it on here look at that oh wow isn't that pretty just put it on top like so mm, so pretty look at that looks beautiful Ooh. and you can get a napkin and just like clean the side of your plate Looks pretty. So pretty. <sighs> if you made this recipe, go ahead and let me know how it turned out. Alright, let's take a bite. Mmm, look at that. Looks so pretty. Etouffee. Mexican etouffee. Mmm. So good. Yummy. Alright, guys. Thank you for watching the Letty Show. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, share. Don't forget to like and comment. Alright, love you. Bye.